here we are going to talk about what epithelial lining of genital tract now talking about epithelial lining of genital tract let's begin our discussion from what from uterus now here uterus if you see uterus then uterus consists of what it consists of columnar epithelium but there is difference between surface uh, on the surface of uterus and on the stroma of uh, uterus so talking about what talking about surface surface consists of what surface consists of our ciliated right ciliated columnar columnar but as we go what as you go into stroma stroma consists of what it consists of simple columnar now these simple columnar are what these are a bit modified right why modified because they consist of they helping formation of what uh, endometrial gland endometrial gland endometrial gland right endometrial gland now as we move, move down right as we move down into cervix into in cervix we have got what we have got two parts one is what one is endocervix and another is what another is our ectocervix now talking about endocervix right now talking about here in endocervix what we have got we have also got columnar but the columnar here is called tall columnar now there is a special feature of this tall columnar also here it consists of tall columnar right okay these are the tall columnar now these tall columnar what they do is they form compound cleft as they progress right they form what they form compound cleft now what is the importance of this compound cleft cleft the importance of compound cleft is that these right these help in secretion of mucus secretion of mucus mucus now as we know that vagina right vagina consists of what it uh, consists of what uh, the mucus that mucus it is not produced by vagina itself it is not produced by vagina it is produced by what it is produced by our endocervix the tall columnar com uh, compound cleft of what our this endocervix now talking about what ectocervix ectocervix it does not consist of what it does not consist of our columnar it consists the ectocervix ecto service it consists of what it consists it consists of sterified squamous epithelium sterified squamous epithelium it consists of sterified squamous epithelium and not not only uh, not only of this acto service but also all this our vagina it consists of what it consists of sterified squamous epithelium so since the sterified squamous it is not it is not uh, playing any role in secretion so the secretion all over our this cervix um, um, our this vagina and cervix it is because of what it is because of our what it is all because of our uh, this tall columnar within our acto service okay we talked about what we talked about uterus we talked about what we talked about what we talked about cervix also right now talking about yes we already talked about what vagina also vagina it is what it consists of what it also consists of sterified squamous right the type of sterified squamous here is what non keratinizing right non keratinizing okay now talking about what talking about our fallopian tube and talking about fallopian tube it consists of ciliated ciliated columnar right it consists of ciliated columnar talking about ovary ovary consists of cuboidal uh, cuboidal epithelium cuboidal epithelium okay now <coughs> okay and yes uh, we know that uh, our uterus is connected to our cervical canal with the help of internal os and cervical canal canal is connected to what our this vaginal canal with the help of external os right external os okay this was all about what this was all about epithelial lining of genital tract